Greetings, this is Bloodrill and welcome back to Let's Play Elder Scrolls Online. Let's go and finish this quest. Over here, the constructs have moved away from the forge. All this skulking around using up valuable energy on apprentice level illusions. I grow ever more weary. Even Zer's enthusiasm is ebbing. I've got the corrupted blood. I'm afraid to hope too much. But you've made such progress. Perhaps we shall end this torment after all. The constructs have moved off. The forge area is clear. At least for the moment. What do I need to do at the forge? Melt the components Bleh. from the furnace. Then craft two rods from the mixture. There is an anvil near the furnace. Be careful though. The mixture can be volatile. The machine that merged us is further on in the overseer's atelier. We'll meet there. Cool. Let's melt the components. You and you. All right. Cool, but then that guy is huge. Alrighty, so many robots or constructs if you prefer, but let's face it, they are robots. You know that, let's kill some of them. It was, it was in my way. I like how you actually drain blood from the robots. That makes no sense. Okay. Let's go around. I don't want to find that to fight that big thing. There's also not uh, any errands to loot from. Hmm. Well, fuck it. None of that. Let's talk to this guy. Teleportation was never this difficult before. The spell took so much out of me, I was afraid we would never materialize. But Zer has the key to this room. He acquired it shortly after we'd got here. Were you able to craft the antipodal rods? I followed your directions. What will the rods do? We are so close. You need to use the rods to activate the dwarven device that performed the soul meld. Oh, and the crystal. I'm getting as careless as Zer. Uh, look for a glowing crystal. The overseer placed it in the machine to power the device. Place the crystal and insert the rods. Got it. This will separate the two of you. Ah, uh, well, in a manner of speaking. Understand that Zer and I do not what? have two separate bodies to return. Why would you want to kill if one of this you? Works, the soul meld won't kill the both of us. So what happens to you? 
The magic will separate the intertwined strands of our souls, but only one of us will survive the process. Do mm -hmm. not be dismayed. We rejoice at a chance for one of us to survive. Go on ahead. We will meet you inside momentarily. Can I ask a few questions? Stop shouting, sir. What? Oh yes, of course. No, you're right. Zer reminds me that you have been most helpful and we need to rest anyway. So I decided not to cut you off with a snide retort. Please accept my apologies and ask your questions. Why does having the two souls weaken you so badly? Based on our own experience, it appears that merging two souls into one vessel causes an internal storm as the souls vie for control. It takes all of our mental fortitude to maintain our individual personalities. What if we can't reverse the soul meld? Then nature takes its course, but at least we will have tried to beat this. At least one of us has a chance to survive and know that however this ends, I am grateful for the aid you have provided us. Which one of you will survive the process? If the device works the way I expect, then the person operating it will decide which of our souls survives the reversal process and which is of course. discarded. Who else? I guess it will be up to you to choose who lives and who dies. How do I choose which one of you to save? Well, I could make a strong case as to why I should be the one to survive. My qualifications, my experience, my worth to the Mage's Guild. But the truth is, I have grown fond of Zer. My right to survive is no greater than his. I mm. cannot advise you. Well, crap. I'll meet you inside. You have no idea what it feels like to have a Khajiit scratching around inside your head. The fuck? Do not worry. This one is not afraid. The process can be reversed. Our research tells us this. There is optimistic. And if I die, then it is just on to another adventure, yes? If it comes down to my decision, which one of you should I choose? We are very different. Zer has learned much sharing a dark elf's mind. Few Kashit experience such a wonder, yes? Godress will do many great things. Wow, two selfless guys. Impressive. Works. And so will Zer. But this one would never choose himself over another. Some theoretical extrapolations of what Godress excels at. And this one's experiments mm. support his research. We believe that All the right. can be forced to... Anything I don't know about the next room. What's that? Yes, Zer will pass it along. Now, quiet, please. The overseer's in there. He put us into this dwarven machine. He's dangerous. Many of the constructs that roam this place are under his control. Godress recommends killing him quickly. All right, then. Kill the overseer. Got it. Man, both of these guys are pretty... Cool people. Light of Meridia. Hmm. Interesting. Stop trying to quick save. I wasn't sure the illusion would last long enough to make it across the chamber, but it did. As the end approaches, this one must admit that he will miss our time together. Yeah, damn it. This one can't believe you crossed this chamber without so much as an illusion to mask your presence. You are so brave. 
This one, those whiskers were twitching inside the dark elf's head. What do I do now? No, next. Okay. Next comes the exciting part. You test our theory. See those two pillars? One represents Zer, the other Gadris. Insert the antipodal rods and turn on the device. If it works, you should be able to separate our melted souls. But I can only restore one of you. Yes. As we have explained, one body, one soul. At least one of us will survive to help the mages guild. This one knows you will make the right decision. Place the crystal into the machine. Then insert an antipodal rod into and each it. pillar to start the unmelding process. Can you hear me? I can, though your voice is distant, muted. Please, pull a lever and finish this process. This needs to end one way or another. No matter who you choose, you have my gratitude. Ancestors bless you, my friend. I both of these people seem cool. It feels like my very essence is being shredded. Why do you ask such meaningless questions? We cannot hold together much longer. Well, crap. Zurit is them. Although Gadris was also cool. How strange this feels. To be simply Zurakinis. Only. This is a sad quest, actually. <laughs> Are you right? There is fine. At least, Zer thinks it is true. This one feels strangely empty. This one is there again. But, thanks to my time with Godris, this one is also different. What will you do now? Zer wants very much to leave this place. Made the bad memories. The door is nearby. It will open from this side. Meet us, uh, me, outside. My abilities grow stronger already. This one can create a portal to somewhere safe once we are outside. Alright then. Well, crap. I wish there was a way to save both of them. Or make them uh, even more preferable. Actually. Um, we have the same body, but uh, you know, have it not killing them. That would have been cool. Can you move? You stay there. Yes, so. Nice. That actually worked. That was cool. I didn't expect it to work. I guess we're going down. Is there a way to go down safely? No, I don't think so. Zer's mind feels empty. Silent. I miss Godris already. You mentioned information for the Medis Guild earlier. During our time together, 
We determined that the Dwarven device operates on the same principles as Moloch Bar's plane mail. Zor will honor the Dark Elf's memory and give him credit for this discovery. Thank you again for saving us, my friend. Sure. This one is strong enough to open a portal now. We shall go to this hollow city Zor has heard so much about. What the fuck? Okay. The portal shall remain open for only a few minutes, my friend. Zor hopes to see you again in the hollow city. Yeah, but not right now. So, let's see. I think that one, they want to do use charts. And charts. What's up? No. Let's move on. I guess we'll go that way. Let's move on. Hmm. I would have liked to save both of them. That would have been nice. Unfortunately, life is not always nice. Not even in video games. Alright, let's Is this something? Yes, it is. What the fuck? A strange chest. Whoa, what's it? It's a trap! Kill you. Thank you. That was interesting. Didn't expect that. Uh, let's go that way. Sure. Death Spinner's Lair. That doesn't sound really safe. Alrighty. I guess I need to go up. I'm not in combat, what? Okay. Perhaps I am in combat. Bullets. Alright, I uh, probably won't be able to make anything, but sure, why not? Yep, it is. Cool. Cadwell's crafting corner, what? What the hell? That was weird. Alright, let's see. Nope, can't make anything. Um, that's one. Where are the others? Upside? Yes, so. That doesn't seem safe. But apparently, it is cool. Where the hell am I going? This place is different than the other crafting places or stations, whatever you want to call them. Nothing to construct, nothing to create. All this research I have done and still I can get nothing. I wonder if it's uh, level based. Crafting level based, I mean. Hmm, could be. Maybe it needs, uh, it needs you to be on a certain crafting level and I'm not really that high in there we go. Also have two points. I think I'm 30. At 22, wow, okay. Not even 30.
Wow, that's nice. Didn't realize you could uh, do that. I researched two items at once. That sounds really nice for those that want to, you know, actually bother with their uh, crafting system. I don't. Not at this point, anyway. I like the crafting system in uh, Final Fantasy XIV. That was really interesting. Anyway, let me end this episode here. In the next one, I'll continue exploring the right side of the Cold Harbor area. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment if you want to. Wow, I was about to say leave a coffee because I saw coffee there. That was weird. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.